All right, YouTube, this is my last video on my module on reference angles, but we're going to focus in this video on working backwards if we already had, say, a trig equation, such as this one that says, like, hey, sine of theta equals negative 0.5592. What is theta? You know, working backwards in order to find this angle theta. Okay, and so in order to do this, you know, I'm already looking up here in the top left, uh, but there are lots of times when we have a trig equation, we want to work backwards to find the angle, and in order to do this, we have to undo the trig, uh, you know, function itself. In this instance, to undo sine, we use this little sine negative one key on a calculator, and this is just our sine inverse key. Okay, so in, you know this particular example, we say find theta if sine, you know, sine of theta equals this. But the kicker here, as I say, but theta terminates in quadrant three. And by the way, we want an angle between zero and three sixty. We don't we don't need all possible angles that do this. We know that all possible angles would be anything coterminal with what we're trying to find here. But we'd say okay. Uh, first thing we know is this, and I'm just going to sketch in a little image, but we know that uh, theta terminates down here in quadrant 3. So here's our angle theta. What we want to know is what could we take the sine of in order to get, say, 0.5592 negative. Okay? So uh, writing out the equation, this isn't a very, very hard thing to do. We say sine of theta equals negative 0.5592, uh, but to undo sine, we're just going to take the sine inverse of both sides. It's, it's that easy, sine inverse. I'm about to get the calculator out, and it's about to give us the answer. I mean, we don't have to think very hard about this. Technology is wonderful. But here's what I need us to recognize. We're going to write theta equals the sine inverse of negative 0.5592. So I guess before I tell you what I want you to recognize, let's go ahead and find this. We say sine inverse, so arc sine uh, of negative, negative 0.5592. Enter. Look at this, about a negative 34, negative 34 degree angle. Okay, so that's that's odd, negative 34 degree angle. I'm going to scribble this in right here. We say approximately, approximately uh, negative 34 degrees. What I want you to recognize is this. You might as well just call it 34 degrees, but what this calculator is actually telling us always is this. It's not ever actually going to give us the actual angle. It's going to give us the reference angle. And from this, we actually have to work backwards to find this angle in blue right here. So what I'm saying is this angle in blue is still unknown. What we know, though, is the reference angle to this angle. So the calculator, what it did was it just said, hey, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you the actual angle, but I will tell you this. This reference angle right here, and like I said, we might as well just call it positive 34. I'll tell you this part of it is 34 degrees, okay? So if this part of it's 34 degrees, what must have been the whole blue angle? And of course, we know if I terminated now in the third quadrant down here, uh, it'd have to be like the original 180 up here plus another 34. And so we'll go ahead and do this math here. We say 180 plus another 34. Uh, looks like we get 4, 1, carry the 1, and 2. So a 214 degree angle. And just to show you that we're not crazy, if we work backwards and we say, well, what if I did get this for an answer here? And this is my, this is my now, we'll write this in blue. This is the actual angle, theta, in blue. If I plug this back into the original equation, right over here, we should get dun, 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 this guy right here. So just to check this, oops, dropped my stylus there. Let us take the sine, the sine of uh, 214 degree angle, 214. Make sure you're in degrees there. And... Uh, you know, it, it was a rounding thing, rounding 0.55919. We had 0.5592 and negative, but close enough for what we wanted to get rounded off to the nearest whole, you know, degree. So uh, before we do this last example in the top right, we'll just do another one so that you kind of see how I got my answer again. But in the bottom here, we say, note if we wanted to find all angles that make this true, so that would be, you know, let's switch over to red here. You know, if we wanted all angles that make this true, any any angle, of course, that lands in this spot right here, in this spot right here that is coterminal with this. So that, you know, that right there, uh, we'd even have, you know, like, I don't know, spin it around a couple times, man. If it landed here, it would have been good. So in order to express all these possible angles, we said uh, we, we could have, you know, write it, write it thusly. Um, I don't know where I got this 240 plus or minus 360K from. What I would say is this, the answer we got, theta, uh, was equal to 214 degrees. We'll write this, plus or minus 360 degrees k, where k, k is an integer. Recall that an integer is uh, any number on this list here. 
in this set of numbers, dot, 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 ellipsis, set, dot, 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 ellipsis. There's our set, but basically a whole number. So what this really means is any angle that makes this true would just be 214 degrees or anything coterminal with it. We could just add on or subtract off its whole rotation. Uh, but in this instance, you know, looking right here, we said we wanted an angle between 0 and 360. So we'll just keep the 214. Okay, so uh, what if we try this again? We say find tangent or find theta, it's a tangent of that angle, it comes out to be 0 0.5890. Oh, and by the way, theta is in the third quadrant. The important thing here is that we are down in the third quadrant. Let's, uh, let's uh, undo what I just did there, and we'll put it in red. So here's my angle, theta. Okay, so theta, it's always good to draw the picture of theta. And we took the tangent of this, and we got 0 0.5890. So we say tangent of theta is 0 0.5890. We're going to take the tangent inverse of both sides. That's easy to do, tangent inverse. We're going to pull out the calculator to actually give us the answer here. Just remembering that the calculator is actually telling us this. It's not telling us the real angle. It's telling us this reference angle here. But we say tangent inverse of 5890, 0 0.5890. So we say, all right, tangent inverse of 0 0.5890, enter. About a 30 and a half, you know, 30.5 degree angle. So we say, all right, well, if I know that this is about a 30.5 ish degree angle, this is my theta prime, theta part he added, this is my reference angle. If I know just this part right here is about 30.5 ish degrees, then the entire angle, the entire one to begin with, this one right here, all the way over, would have been 180 in this instance, you know, to get over to the third quadrant in the first place, 180 degrees plus the extra 30.5, and so we get about a, what, a 210 and a half degree angle. And I just want to check this for theta. I want to check this by plugging it back into the original equation. So if I take the tangent of 210, 0.5-ish, if we do this, we should get about uh, 0 0.5890. Oh, just want to check. So we say tangent, tangent, 210.5, enter. And well, you know, 0 0.5890, that's pretty slick, isn't it? So that's how you would use uh, reference angles to kind of get you back to the actual angle uh, when you're working backwards with the calculator. Cheers.